the beast, punish the beast Let's just try for you and for me Have fun in the sun, go swim in the sea There's always something special on Swanish TV Swanish TV Hello, good evening, <laughs> welcome to another edition of Swanish TV It is uh, Friday, the 2nd of October already uh, it's 6 p.m. We are live. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm Ian, as always, and my beautiful co-host is the enchanting, the lovely, the delightful uh, Rosemary, the telephone operator. Rosemary, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How good, are good, you, good. Ian? I'm very well. How have you been? Oh, yeah, it's been, yeah. It's been a week. It's been it? a week. It's been We've a got week. to the end of it, and I'm really looking forward to today's show. Good, yes, me too. Especially the end bit. Especially the end bit, yes. So you've been up to much? No. Hmm. Not really. Work, home, work, home. Well, you've been doing a lot of work for Swanish TV every day, every week. You know, you do quite a lot of work for us. Now, Rosemary, shall I tell you, right, rather than you ask me how my week's gone, right, or whatever, because I've got to get straight into it. I've got to get straight into All it. Right. I can't muck about, right? It's business. I had a parking ticket yesterday. I had a parking ticket <laughs> outside my own shop. I think he's setting up a GoFundMe right. page. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Now, listen, right? I said to the lady, she said, I've been watching you for six or seven minutes. She said, I've been watching the car for six or seven minutes, which I'm not sure is true because she just come out with a thing and walk down the road. Anyway, let's let's go with that, right? She watched for six or seven minutes and then she gave me a ticket. And I said, what are you doing? I said, what are you doing? She said, oh, I'll give you a ticket. You can't park it. It's double yellow lines. Well, hold on a minute, right? Because I said, hold on. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. There is no and breathe. end T bar on the yellow lines, oh, right? Oh, dear. So... That will tell you there. That's off the website, off government website. Mm -hmm. It shows you the law about uh, parking tickets. And it says, if there are no T-bar ends on the yellow thing, the ticket becomes invalid. So great news for me when I send it off with this. And just to go with it, just to show them there's no T-bar there. So it becomes invalid. Now, they've taken the sign down which says, you know, you can park here from whatever. But they've not T-barred the end of the yellow double yellow line so it is still invalid and you can still lawfully and legally park there i'm sure after this that that will be t-barred by monday but there you go just to let you know do you feel hmm. better now no still angry about it. <laughs> but yes uh, oh dear so you go no what we got coming we've got loads of stuff to talk about i've got just quickly this we're nearly a year old we're over a year old but our first broadcast is nearly a year old next week. I cannot believe we've been here doing this a year, yeah. which is amazing. So I'm uh, putting a shout out to um, the restaurants, the pubs, the establishments. We are having a one year anniversary dinner. We are looking for a host. So uh, please get in touch. There will be merriment. We need it for six people. Uh, they also need to cater for vegetarians. Some are vegetarians, some are meat eaters. Um, and we obviously want to do it in the best town in the world, which is Swanage, of course. So uh, oh, please wow, get in really? touch. No, the best town in the world is Swanage. The second best sort of town is Wareham, as we know. So, uh, yeah, get in touch with us. Um, don't give us a call. Send us an email or a message. And let us know if you'd like to entertain us for next Saturday, please. At any ridiculous time will do, as long as it's before 10. Um <laughs> So, yes, that's what we're after for next week. So I've got to get that out there. And now shout-outs. How many shout-outs did we have? Wow. I've got, I've got a couple. I'll, go for, I'll do mine just oh, quickly. Oh, I'll just do mine quickly. Just, mine, just quickly. Get out of the way. Okay. Adam Trott on the uh, steam train. Chef. He's been on... Very good chef. Very good chef. But very good curry. They've been on furlough for seven... He's been on furlough for seven months. He came in He came in the other day. He said, uh, how are you doing? I said, oh, didn't recognise him. I said, what have you been doing? And he said baking, oh, mostly. So he's been baking. Cakes. I've seen the photos. He's had a few of them and all. Adam, not saying, he's a mate of mine. I hope he don't mind. He likes a pudding. There you go. No problem. So hello to Adam. A couple of other, one other shout out I've got is to um, two ladies, right? We don't cover <laughs> wool. We don't cover the, the district of wool. We do often. now. We do now. Because two ladies, uh, Christina and Lorraine, hello to you. You do a fine job at Dorset Management Services, holiday lettings and etc. So well done. Hello to you. Um, and that's all my shout outs I need to do. 
Is it? Yeah. Is have it? You got, have we got any more? Yeah, we've got more. Ooh. We've got happy birthday, Kirsten Mears. Kirsten Mears. It's her birthday today. Watching live all the way from France, no doubt. Uh, well, it's or her birthday. The, she's so. in the bar. Um, one of our, oh, one of our avid viewers. Loyal viewers, I think we should say. Gary's top fan. Gary's top fan. Not Amanda Mason. Yes. She is not watching tonight. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, thanks. But she's got really good excuses. Oh, it's her birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Where's, where's she celebrating? Anywhere nice? Or? Well, she did write that she was going to Castaways. Castaways. Nice restaurant. Very good catch. choice. Yeah, it's very good. Very good choice. Enjoy Have your birthday. Have a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday and I hope you catch up. Um, Ali Patrick. The former mayor. The former mayor. She is really enjoying the show. Good. She Good. really is. And she had a birthday recently, but we missed it. 19th of September was Ali's birthday. We're a bit rubbish. How old was Ali? 21. 21. Goodness me. Um, Rotarian, this is one of your shout outs. Wow. My little mate. My little Maltese friend. Joe Laurenti, hello to you, Joe, and to Pat, your lovely wife. Yeah. Um, see you Tuesday. Thanks for watching the show. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Swanage Posties. Yeah, fair play to them. If you move house in Swanage, mm. if you move house once, twice, three times, mm. and it might have even been an address from six years ago, mm. Swanage Posties deliver the mail. Well, they know. It's cause it, why is that? Because they're, they're the best, the best postal posties. service in the world. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, fantastic. Good stuff. But that's local, isn't it? Swanage yeah. Health Health Centre, you are amazing. They do a good job. You are so caring. Well, fantastic. Good. Personally, Hello. thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Swanage Healthcare. There's yes. one for you. Thank you. Doctors, reception staff, Ooh, all, all of, of them. Yes. Okay. Because generally, are... reception staff are like. No, not. Like... No. Yeah. But not they're good. Good Swanage. Okay. They have good. been absolutely jolly good. good. Last but not least. Who we got? Karen and Di. Karen and Di. Watched us live last time from Hurston Yards. Campsite? Were they, were they camping? Were they? Yeah, they were camping. Karen and Di, I hope you enjoyed the show. Have a good one. Yeah. I'm sure you're in the pub watching on your phone <laughs> right now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Sorted. So that's all that's the that. shout -outs. Right then, we're... We're on our way. We're on our way. Yeah. I tell you what, let's go meet the rest of the team. Let's cross live to our beautiful, beautiful Nico. Nico, Nico, how are you? Hi, guys. I'm great. I'm uh, down on Swanage Seafront which this morning was the scene of uh, some raging seas and Wasn't closed it? off roads. It was, but now, Ian, it's beautiful. Yeah, it Calm, lovely. serene, lovely. <laughs> I wonder why that is. I wonder what's going on there. The wind's changing, Ian. I think it's going to hit again, but from the southwest, I am reliably informed. So uh, it shouldn't be hitting Swanage Bay, but over the other side. Does okay, happen. fantastic. Nika, what have you got coming up for us tonight, my lovely? Um, I am outside the best theatre in the world, yes. which is the most theatre, obviously, in Swanage, um, which is due to reopen tonight. And I'm going to be chatting with one of the brand new trustees who are going to take it forward for the next generation. Get in there. Ooh, Excellent, Nico. That Fantastic. Exciting. Nico, thank you for that. Looking forward to that soon. I will see you very soon. Thanks for that. OK. Bye, Nico. Yeah, goodbye, Nico. Just quickly, just quickly, look at this storm that we were talking about there. Look at that. What a blooming nightmare. What an absolute um, nightmare. But look at that. Look at that. That's it, crazy. Photos. Photos, yeah. Our good friend, friend of the show, Adrian Wright. Look at this one. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look how bad that must but have there been. There was some good news, though. We still managed to get our breakfast from High we Street. We got our Cafe. breakfast from the High Street Cafe Day, yes. Even though they were very Thanks. close to. Very close to being drowned. Very close to or surfing, mm, maybe. Yep. But yes, that's good news. Should we see what uh, what's happening with our other people? Let's cross live to the Ginger Ninja in Wareham. Mark, hello. How are you, sir? <laughs> Ginger Ninja today. Greetings from Wareham, Ian Rosemary. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank All you, mate. Good here. What are you, what are you up to? Well, I'm I'm outside uh, the Salt Pig in the heart of Wareham as ever. Um, I'm very excited, Ian. I've got to say, very, very excited. We are Not excited as well. The, got the two traditional vouchers from the Salt Pig to give away. Fantastic. But on top of that, yeah. we are introducing tonight Basket Snatch live from the premiere in Kerry. Excellent. How exciting is that? 
So I like a trolley dash, myself. but with a basket. Exactly. Excellent, yes. Mark. It's timed. They can't be under twenty-five pounds. They can't be over thirty. Otherwise, they lose the lot. Wow. I can. I can hardly contain myself. I don't mind telling you. I th- <laughs> <laughs> we we've not rehearsed that. We shall see how it goes in the show. Mark, listen. Thank you very much. Looking forward to that. I can't wait. Um, have a good one, and I will see you soon. Speak to you soon, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Bye bye. Wow. That's I don't. I, I mean, <laughs> wow. Let's uh, I'm really let's see to how that goes. Now, couple of things. Couple of things. Um, We'll see them both very, very soon. Now, Rosemary, what else have we got coming up on the uh, show, we've please? We've got Cane of Cash. Cane of Cash, we love that. Don't forget, it's free cash we give to you. Free cash. Free cash. Okay, what else we got? We well, got... we have got Salt Pig Salt Voucher. Voucher giveaway. We've got Basket, basket Snatch. Basket Snatch, the £30 Basket Snatch. Oh, Cannot I'm so wait. excited. Cannot wait for that. We'll see what um, happens. Five Hot Topics of the Week. Five Hot Topics of the Week and all the usual stuff. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you for that, Rosemary. Now, shall we have a look around the town, Rosemary? Yes. Shall we? Let's yeah. have a look. Um, let's see what's happening. Nothing. Satellite. To the left a bit. Oh, there you go. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, you can tell. Ooh. Hey, look Actually, at that. It looks quite calm, doesn't it? It does. It looks quite the calm. The calm before the storm or the Off, second storm. After the storm. Yeah. No one's around the pot. It's it, isn't it? No one's... Summer's gone, isn't it? Why only this week? It does can get nice again in October. It's depressing as anything. Yeah. Depressing as anything. But there you go. That's our beautiful bay. We can't muck about with that. Shall we just check and move the satellites coming over for the uh, for the other one? No. Hello. Hello. Yay. Oh, look at that. Oh. What's going like, on there? Looks like a mill pond. It's really, really quiet now. The sky. Look at that. The sun's out. The sunset. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the prettiest railway in the world. Let's see what's happening with that. It looks actually quite bright there. At the it wharf. does, because it's near Swanage, which happens to be the best town in the world. <laughs> not a lot going on there, is there? No, so not We're really. going to find it difficult when the light starts going as well. But let's look at the best railway in the world. And it's there. Look at that. There's a Swanage mm. railway. Sun in the far distance, I mm. think. Not a lot going on, is no. there? No. Where is everybody? I know where they are. They're all in the pubs, aren't they? They're all in the pubs. Got... They've only They've got till got... 10 o'clock. Yeah. Not many hours left. No, did you see that in Bournemouth about all the clubs and the pubs and all that having a, having a, like a protest? Yeah, good. Good for them. What's good gonna, for them, Miss? What is going to happen? Yes, we do not know. So it's uh, going to be pretty tough. Right. Do you know what? Shall we have a little bit of weather? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we just do, do the we, weather? Do we I want mean, it's, the it's basically rain, rain every day, all day, forever. That's, a little That's bit. terrible. Look at that. Rain tonight. Rain tomorrow. Oh, rain no. on Sunday with a small spattering of uh, wind. Cloudy Monday. Rain Tuesday. Rain Wednesday. Rain for the rest of the week. Does that not mean sure. the flip flops have to go away? Flip flops now? are away. Shorts, t-shirts, put them away. Oh, We're not dear. having it. So uh, there you go. That is the weather that's what we got to look forward to sadly so um hmm, interesting i tell you what we'll be back after this Castle Inn, where great food and great company go hand in hand. Fine real ale, hearty home cooked food, a large beer garden, roaring open fire, perfect for any occasion. Now open till 10 pm. Call 01929 480 208 to book your next visit. Hi, I'm Marita. Um, this is my shop, the Studio by the Sea, 35A Commercial Road, Swanage. Um, I do an array of silver jewellery. If you'd like to come in, you're more than welcome and have a look at my goods. Have a look at your goods indeed. <clears throat> there you go. Welcome back. Thank you for that. Yeah. Now, do you know, Rosemary. Do you know what, what that reminds me? I've been Christmas shopping this week. Oh, 
Well, in October. It's 12 weeks today, Christmas Day. Is it? Yeah, and people like oh, Marita oh, selling oh. silver jewellery. Shop local. Get in there, shop, shop local. local. Yeah, good shout, good shop shout. Local. Well, you know what time it is, don't you? It's our favourite part of the show, Rosemary. <laughs> Five, no, no. Well, it is, it is. is Do it? you want to sing it? No. Are you going to sing it? No. No, you sure? <laughs> Five Hard Topics. Rosemary, what delights of madness have we got this week? <laughs> What's our first hot topic, Rosemary? Oh dear, we've we've had burglaries again. Commercial break-ins yeah. like it's going out of fashion. Yeah, really, really, properly lots of burglaries. Where, what's been happening then? Well, in the industrial estate near um, Victoria Avenue, that's um, had a bit of a burglary. Um, but they're they're going for tools and and stuff like that so not good at all um there was an incident in wash pond lane as well wasn't there yeah was, definitely uh, power tools valuable items um people basically the what what's being said is that yeah. um you know valuables um check your sheds check, check your, your machinery and all your no, equipment no, make just make sure they're secure so any outhouses garages and stuff like that make sure it's all locked up safely they're after power tools and things. So um, what you can do to to help this is write down the make and the model and also the serial, serial number. Numbers. That's really important. But yeah, just be aware that, that there are some not very nice people out there. I, I sort of noticed as well today a very, very heavy police presence, right? But it, I'm not sure if that was just to do with the the storm because there was a police car at every of the roads well, they were blocking off the roads for people to go down, like like seven police cars or something crazy it was. That must have been the whole of Dorset's police force. Have we got Can't come for a robbery, though, can they? Mm, sorry, police, you know I like you, but come on. We, oh it's the public perception of it sometimes. But they're right, let's not worry. Yeah. Let's not worry. Anyway, the moral of the story is just yes, keep make your... sure everything's secure. Yes, yes, I'm sure the police will be uh, apprehending these villains very, very soon. Rosemary, what is our next top topic of the week? Oh, it actually makes me feel... A it bit doesn't sick. make me feel very happy either. What is it? Um, white bags. The Wareham meat dump. Yeah. Four white bags of cooked and uncooked meat have been left in various locations around the Wareham area. Two tons of it, I understand. Well, literally, and they're so heavy that the council have had to have lifting gear... To take them away. I mean, it's incredible. They they have. Um, you got your chickens, your sausages, yeah, your steaks. You've got a lot. They they have worked out the source of them, and some of. Ooh. Yeah, the abattoir. They've like taken it back to abattoirs in um, Northern Ireland, Wales. And, Northern Ireland. Yeah, and there's another one in in Bedford. Um, so they've gone back to the slaughterhouses to work out where this meat's come from. And they have had a lot of help from the butchers locally. How old is that meat? But it's it can't be nigh. Actually, I remember a few years ago a white bag like that being found in Policeman's Lane in Upton. What, full of meat? Yeah. Is it and a it, thing? And it was a hot day. Well, I don't know. Why would you dump it? I, I mean, how unpleasant would that be? So, that's what's dangerous. going on? Did that's anybody, imagine if did anybody see anything? That, so. I mean, they've been dumped at Binnegar Lane, Hyde Road, Lower Woodbury, Crossroads and Lane End. So that's been in the last two weeks. If anybody's wow. got any information, then please come forward um, to the local authorities waste team because they're really keen to work out what's happened here. Oh, it's quite disgusting. And also, it? It, it's not nice for the waste team to come along and actually dispose of it. Where have they put? Where did they dispose of it? What did they do with that? Well, they had to go along and... Well, what did they do? Actually, bury it? Burn it? What do you know? <laughs> can't burn it. It'd be like a big barbecue, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Disgusting. But, anyway, yeah, not very nice. Any information? Get onto the local uh, police yeah. and authorities about it because uh, it's pretty savage, isn't it? Rosemary, what is the hot topic number three, please? Um, Bovington Camp have been um, hosting mm. um, training exercises. Yes, they have. This is a Chinook, but they've got Chinooks, Merlin, and Wildcat helicopters. And what they're um, doing is the um, They've been taking place over the last sort of week, so mm. I don't know if you've heard them or seen them or, or I've whatever. Se I've, I saw four helicopters, uh, all in formation, yeah. flying over. It's been fantastic. I don't know what the exercises are for. Maybe but civil they, unrest. They need to meet all their training objectives, and the air crews are, 
are required to do night sorties. So, yeah, if you've been they, been listening to them coming over at night and thinking what the hell's going on, it's them. Yeah, definitely. Um, but they are they do try to plan it to minimise disruption. So hopefully you haven't been awoken. Um, it's it, it's training exercise. Okay, now what is the fourth hot topic? Well, wool. Wool. This is wool. twice in the same show. Wool have been well. Wool are happy to announce that the yeah. skate park is open. Ta -da. And here it is. Um, the contractors were Maverick Skate Parks, and they did lots of work um, to get this up and ready. It looks the great, money it? was. There were lots of funding, lots of fundraisers, local businesses. Yeah, local businesses put in, which Yeah, is they do all the time, and local fundraisers. So look at that for a skate park. Now, that, that see, I, I also read something else about that. That's a great thing for kids, right, with bikes, skate. It's a place Scooters. for them to go. Scooters, the lot, right? But I've also heard as well that there's groups of kids there, groups of kids possibly bullying other kids, oh. which is it's the same old nonsense, isn't it? Use the skate park for what it's used for. Be happy and enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. It's what a great amenity in wool. Honestly. But also, um, it's not officially opened yet. Um, oh, because not? of course, no, because of COVID. Oh, are they, they going to have like a do later on? They they sort of opened yeah, it. Yeah, but they just wanted it. to say thank you very much to everybody that's been involved. What a. I think that's really good. Yeah. I mean, it looks quite. I've not seen one like that. Not that I go to skate it's parks. In, it's enormous, by the way. It looks brilliant. Yeah, I'm not going to go. It's a lot of like the Swanish you get your skate elbow park. pads and your, your knee pads and <laughs> the uh, everything else pads. Oh, yes. And uh, various other bits and bobs, you know. Uh, good. Well, yeah. well done, Wall. Enjoy. Well done, the people Enjoy of Wall. Um, now, hot topic number five is not what we were going to have. No. In actual fact, hot topic number five, we are going to go back to the lovely the lovely nico chico okay um who is this nico chico nico chico <laughs> we know nico chico we love nico chico um who is going to be interviewing as far as we know and seeing a few of the people at the um molem so let's cross live nico how are you hi guys hey I'm here. Can you, can you hear me all right? Because I'm just inside We can. The it's like you're in a wind tunnel of some kind. It's like a very echoey, but we'll take it. It's it, better it is. outside. It's a bit noisy with the sea. Um, <laughs> you behind me, who's one of the trustees, and Thomas, the linchpin of the Molum for years. Um, now, hopefully, viewers will be aware that due to COVID and all of that, the Molum obviously had to shut. Um, and during that time, some new trustees have come aboard and have made some significant changes, I'm told, to the interior. We like that. Uh, I know. I can't, I'd love to walk you around, but there's a reason not to, not just a signal. It's because we want you to come down here. Um, it's incredibly safe. They've put a lot of measures into place. Come on in, sir. There we go. Um, they're doing pre-booking <laughs> only, so you need to go on the website, I think, and book a ticket. They've got a brilliant range of films coming. Um, and they're actually opening tonight. There's people going in behind me to let them in. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I know, it's really busy down here. I think people have come down to see the storm, which has vanished, ah. as you can see. Um, so let's back in and have a quick chat. First of all, Thomas, Hello. you've been here how long? Uh, 15 years. 15 years. Now, what do you do in the theatre, Thomas? Uh, we get everything ready for live shows, cinema, any users that want to use the venue for special events and organise it from the contract to going on stage and leaving again. Now, the Molem's got a really special history for those that don't know. Can you tell us a little bit about the history and how the building came to be and who built it and who it's for? I'll put me on the spot. Yeah, yeah. go on. Right, uh, John Nowland donated it to Swanage in 1863. Excellent. I believe the original building was built in 1867. It was replaced in 1967 with the current building. So the current building is now just over 50 years old. Uh, it definitely shows its son's age, as everyone is very aware. <laughs> uh, it needs a fair amount of work doing to it. Um, 
But we are beginning to make a change, and hopefully we're making a change with the... Um, here we go, we're just moving in. We've got customers coming in, which is exciting. Got to move for the customers. Oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> Hopefully, we're moving in the right direction and the, the direction that Swanage wants us to move. Uh, we are going to be holding a lot of public consultations over the next year, I guess. We would be doing it all now, but now it's not quite so easy with COVID and getting people together. Um, obviously, we're at a maximum party size of six in the Mallon. So, having a, a meeting to actually try to work out what people want, you can't do with only six people very effectively. Mm. Um, we're finding the same problem with our um, trustees. We've managed to get a lot of new trustees. I think we've got um, is it two of the original, three of the originals, three of the original trustees. Uh, are still here, but we've got six, seven, seven new trustees. Wow. Um, wow. We've, well, I've been here for two years as a trustee. Uh, we've got three more who have only literally started a few weeks ago. Um, we've been trying to handpick people that have got specific expertise that we can take advantage of. Um, so we, we've got one who knows theatre inside out. Excellent. Um, she lives in Swanage, but she does work mostly in London. But she really knows her stuff. We've got another one who knows cinema. So we're actually targeting for trustees that know about the business that the Marilyn should be providing in Swanage. So hopefully we can provide Swanage with a better service than it's been provided for the last no, now, I guess the, the important thing about that watching now is that's all brilliant. You're there, you, you, I believe you've done a lot of work, hands-on work, haven't you, yeah, in the yeah. theatre, which is quite exciting. We, we have, you, Nico, we have on screen just a picture of, I understand they've um, they painted it and uh, it, it looks spectacular. Can I just say the foyer looks spectacular. That entrance looks absolutely it brilliant. Be. It's, it's so it's, clean it's and welcoming. I know, it is. And what it needs is everybody watching to start re-engaging with the modem again um, and actually put in their trust in the new board of trustees that they're going to run it as it was intended. And that only works if people come and spend their money here. It's a charity. They're doing their best. They've got a brilliant, brilliant range of films on, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We have. We've got a, a mixture of um, pre-recorded live shows uh, most of October. Um, so we, tonight we've got Red Shoes, uh, we've got Kinky Boots going up, 40 Seconds Street. So they're all uh, recorded in the West End. Excellent. Um, and over half term we've got a load of back catalogue films, so Paddington, Mamma Mia, and Red Shoes. And then when we get to the next month, we've got a new, more exciting programme starting with yet more pre recorded shows. Excellent. So tonight is getting busy because people are going to start coming in for the big opening night. Um, I'm guessing when the kind of, I don't know, the winter period's over and the COVID stuff has hopefully died down a bit, maybe there'll be a call for volunteers to come and get involved a little bit and engage in different ways. Hopefully, um, when, we, when we get a little bit further, uh, down in the future, we will be able to get volunteers involved. Um, <laughs> at the moment with COVID, um, having people in the building is a bit of a, an issue. Um, the government seems to be doing their very best to confuse everyone. Um, we're getting there. We're, we're trying to navigate between the roles uh, and their various circulations and making things awkward for everyone. But we're in the same boat as everyone else. Yeah. Um, one thing I would say, we've got over 80 people in tonight. Excellent. I wow. think our maximum it depends how many people come. The seating is automatically generated to give space between groups. So yeah. if you get a party of six come in, obviously you use less wasted seats yeah. than you do if you get people come individually. So we're running on around about ninety five to hundred as our full capacity. That's brilliant. Four That's nice. Yeah, isn't it? Which compared to three hundred and eighty when we have everyone in, is a long way down. But 
hopefully we'll get enough people in to actually cover the, the costs and, and make some, well, not exactly make some money, but be able to reinvest it into the building. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it does look amazing down here, and it is a shame I can't take you upstairs, but like I said, if everyone watching wants to have a look, buy a ticket. Come in, have a walk around, have a drink downstairs maybe beforehand, and go up and watch the film, and see what these guys have done. So, before we leave you, Ian, have you got any questions you want to ask about the future of the Molum? No, I, well, there's a couple of things I do want to ask. There's one thing I specifically want to ask. Who is in charge of the outside of the building? Because you've got a massive wall there that faces down towards the arcade and down to Banjo Pier and all the rest of it, okay? Who's in charge of that? Because there's a company, there's a television company that has a banner which is 12 foot by 8 foot and it needs hanging somewhere. <laughs> is that a possibility? Maybe we should get the audience to petition the Molum. For the Swanage TV banner. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> we'll have to take the board, I believe. <laughs> we, we would. The outside of the building is a bit of an issue. We've actually got um, scaffolding going up on part of it on Monday. Oh, well, that's good, because so. that, that saves me getting a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> a, a little bit of work has been done there. Um, but long term, yeah, we want to completely refurbish the outside of the building. Get rid of the grey stain on the north side that everyone criticises. <laughs> it's uh, so well pretty. I've seen it though, aren't they? Yeah. Should, should they be that well yeah. Done? yeah. And <laughs> then paint and make the place look a little bit better. So how, how about a community spring distanced COVID painting party at the Molum with a free film at the end of the day? Plan? <laughs> 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 yeah. Without the whole, it'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Community accidents left, right, and centre. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it I'm... looks brilliant. It really does look great. Really you good. Go online to book your tickets at the moment. Yeah, just online, please. It's molum.co.uk. Yes. Yeah. So molum.co.uk. Get your tickets. They've got 80 people in for the opening night. Well done. I think that's really good. I think it's a good testament to the the new people, the new board. Um, good luck to them. Yeah. Let's support it. It's a local thing. Let's get in there and get on it. Love it, Nico. Best in the world, Ian. You're absolutely right. Yep. Best theatre in the world. Nico, listen, thanks very much, and thank you to all the guys there. We will see you soon, Nico. Thank you very, very indeed. much indeed. Fantastic. Take care. Take thank care. you. What about that, then? Wow. What about that? Wow, that was... um. That looks good, doesn't it? it that does. little entrance looks quite it smart. Does. And I know people always used to um, sort of is there more that the Molan could do? And from the yeah, sound it's always of it, been a it's always, it's always been, been a, a massive of, building of with loads of stuff in that that could be taken forward, but it never sort of quite got there. Yeah. But now, yeah, some good things coming. And Looks the cellar nice. bar next door, that's They've lovely. They've done well there, that's isn't That's a lovely, lovely place nice to go Nice place to go and eat and drink. Yeah. Yes, very well. Now, sadly, Rosemary, it's goodbye to you for a, for today. I'm afraid. Yes, because. We are going to uh, do all our cane of cash and gives aways and things, and you need to be on those phones, Rosemary. That's right, that's right. So, and then you're going through to Mark. Who's Mark interviewing? Um, Mark who? Blonde Bombshell, Strawberry Blonde Bombshell. He's doing the, uh, he's doing the supermarket trolley dash, isn't he? Right, yeah, OK. So there. We'll look forward to that. So, Rosemary, listen, thank you very much. Um... We'll see you on the next show. Okay. Thanks ever so much. And uh, we'll be back after this. Thank you. Welcome to Aurora CBD Health. We are based in Swanage on the high street. Open seven days a week. Pop in and talk to us about our CBD range. We've got edibles, gummies, skincare, oils, and we're happy to help you. Comedians. <laughs> Magicians. Small venues, big events. If you're doing any kind of entertaining, Whaley have got the entertainment. Singers, bands, karaoke, DJs, comedians, magicians and more. They'll have a whale of a time with WhaleyEntertainments.com. I love you, Claire. Welcome to Where I'm Yuffie, home to Purbeck and Youth Community Foundation. We work with youth and adults to improve the lives of children. Please come and join us.
aged 11 to 19 and have many volunteers. Megan, Ellie, what do you do as a junior volunteer? Leadership. Our goal is to run residential trip. We have passed our first aid and other key skills. We run activities for the younger members. We run genetic sessions in the pier back area. We work in partnerships with many agencies. We developed a walk and talk program with local schools, running an outreach program that's still going strong. Looking forward to supporting young people and projects in the future. Excellent. Welcome back. Thanks for that. Um, now, listen, it's our favourite part of the show. Um, <clears throat> where we're going to give away a bit of cash. Excellent. Yes, it is Kane of Cash. It is question time. Now, pay attention, viewers, because this is where we give you money and prizes for free. OK, so pay attention. Now, we have two questions. Two questions for Wareham. And we have one question for Swanage. So we're going to do cane of cash giveaway question first. Now, the cane of cash is free money, which our lovely Nico is going to give. And the question for this is, who is the Molem Theatre named in honour of? You can't phone in and say Mr. Molem. OK, we need a name, the first name as well. So uh, who is the Molem Theatre named in honour of? OK, that's for Swanage viewers only. That's for cash, free cash giveaway. Now, the Wareham viewers, you have two questions because there are two prizes for one person. The Salt Pig Voucher and, of course, the crazy uh, basket snatch that is unrehearsed. So it could all go mad. So the questions you have is for the Salt Pig. What is the name of Tigger's pig friend in Winnie the Pooh? OK, very easy. What is the name of Tigger's pig friend? Not Tigger that we know, but in the actual story, Winnie the Pooh. What is the name of Tigger's pig friend? Now, the other question is what this is for the, the basket snatch. So what suburb of Wareham is the premier stores in Kerry situated? OK. Phone now. The lines are open. We're giving you money and cash. It is 0330-001-2401. Rosemary is standing by. Free cash, free goods, free basket snatch. It's going to be fantastic. Call now, 0330-001-2401. You have to live within five minutes drive of the towns. You have to be over 18. And we are ready to give you free money and free prizes. So get on it. Fantastic. Looking forward to that. Um, previous previous winners need not call. So um, there you go. <clears throat> now, oh, bear with me just a moment because the studio's throwing everything at me. Um, now, what we're going to do now, uh, while that's all going on, is you might remember um, a while back, uh, a long while back, we... Uh, spoke last year to a lovely lady of ours um, with the charity that is Will Does. So what we're going to do is we are going to... I think I've got the lady on the line. We shall see. Bear with me a moment. Bear with me a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to see how um, the Will Does charity has been going. Uh Let's just see if they are on the line and ready to come through. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? We're going to go and speak to uh, Leslie Buchanan, who is the um, top, top person at the Will Does Charity. Now, hoping, still hoping... I think we're, we're, we're hoping. Can we say hello to Leslie? Leslie, are you there? I am here. Hello. Leslie, hello. Thank you for joining us. We had a bit of a satellite issue there. I'm glad you picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, hello and welcome back to the, uh, to the show. And thanks for coming on. Now, we've got, as you know, we featured uh, Will Does last year. So, Leslie... Perhaps you can just give us, uh, for the viewers that are new to us, perhaps give us a rundown of the wonderful Will Does Charity and what it actually does, please. 
Okay. So Will Does was founded as a charity in December 2019 uh, after the loss of um, my son, Will. Um, it is formed to help young people with mental well-being um, through activities. So um, over the last year, uh, we've raised in the region of about £75,000 wow. um, and we've been we've done donations to grant funded donations to charities to include Mosaic which is a, a local charity that helps bereaved children um, children with and young people with bereavement so they helped a lot of Will's friends um, deal with his passing um, we've given to Dorset Mind, which a lot of people will know about. Um, they help a lot of young people as well. Uh, Wareham Youth and Community Group. Um, we know which was sort of where, Yeah, Joyce and Kev, amazing people and do yes. amazing work with young people, really great. So we've donated quite a lot of money to them to help them with counsel, to supply counsellors and walk and talks and all sorts of different things. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Oh, Ocean Youth Trust, which is uh, a boat which is featured in um, Pool, I think. Um, and that takes young people out um, on the boat. Obviously, a lot of these things haven't been able to happen because of the current climate at the, the moment. The, the dreadful thing that is, yes. The dreadful thing that it is, exactly. So, so. Excuse me, my dogs are barking. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're we're still raising money we where we can, um, and we're still trying to do some events, obviously where we can, to keep on helping young people. Basically, they're going to need it more than ever now with with this last. Yeah, six, I, eight I, months, I, but... I totally agree with you there, Les. I think the 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 mental health and well-being of the kids i mean just look what's happening in the universities in the country that yeah. the new kids have gone to you know it may have just left home for the first time and they're subject to an intense lockdown in some of these places policed and everything it's, it's an awful situation so uh yeah we sort of do feel for the the, the youngsters uh, now oh i do you know it's, it's horrendous for them and um you know it's not their fault that the situation's got worse. I know, you know no. sometimes in the news that's what's been sort of banded around, but, you know, they're young people and they've, you know, especially the GCSE year and the A-level year this year, yeah. you know, massive moments in their lives. They've worked all those years to be able to take a GCSE or mm. an, a final A-level and they can't do it. Yeah, I, I, it's horrible. We, we Our middle daughter is, um, it was her A-levels, didn't happen it's just you're absolutely right it's it's the pressure and the build-up for nothing for for literally yeah. for, for guesswork it's horrible it's a horrible thing but les um listen the will does charity i i think is is the one we like to feature it because it's excellent now i know you've got a couple of things coming up uh something on the 8th of october is that right well we've got this sunday we've got the um virtual 10k run walk or crawl um obviously last year we were very fortunate to be able to hold it at um Knoll beach yeah. and we used the national trust 10k route um but obviously uh, this year we're not able to have mass gatherings and last year we had over 500 people so it was great um, the yeah no it was a fabulous day and it you know it really it was just one of the best days to see people, young people, everybody. It was really, it was really yeah, great. Yeah, it was day. a really, really nice time, Les. I, we, I did enjoy that. I didn't do it obviously because I'm old, but uh, Rosemary You're not did it. old. Either. Rosemary, Rosemary did it, and uh, thousands did it. It was a fantastic day. So it's virtual this time. Yeah. So basically, you can. I mean, I'm going to do it in my bubble of six. So you, you can choose a bubble of six people, mm. and run walk or crawl whatever you want to do <laughs> i think i'd be and in the last it... part of that les the crawling bit i don't believe that ian <laughs> <laughs> that you that you do it you can do it wherever you know you can walk around your garden for 10k if you want to or you can just go for a walk or you can i'm going to actually going to run the 10k route in uh, studland 
because it's there. So, and... Les, can 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 different groups of six run the original course? So, but, for example, if your group of six goes off, can another group of six actually do it? I mean, is, I'm sure they can, can they? Well, if they they're can socially do... distanced we... and it's... Yeah, we can't. I can't organise that, that, but I presume that if they were to turn up on the day and want to run that route, there's, you know... That's, that's right, there's not a lot fun. that can be done, I suppose, is there? There's nothing that can be done, but we can't be seen to be holding an event. Of and, course. Um, and nor would we want to jeopardise anybody's health no, or break the not. law. Yes, the, the breaking of the law is the important part, I think, there. Um, but, Les, yeah. you've also got uh, something else which I, I quite fancy uh, coming to. Ah, we've got a charity golf day on Thursday. Um, we've got 16 teams uh, booked in now at the Isle of Perbic Golf Club. We've got, um, well, we've got a team coming down from Wickham Wanderers. Oh, they're, nice. They're man yeah, their manager's bringing a team down um, to play. Um, I'm not sure yet, but we have been in contact with um, Harry and Sandra Redknapp. So obviously, Sandra is one of our patrons. So um, to whether they might be able to attend or not, we're not quite sure. We're just sort of waiting to hear at the moment. Have you seen Harry swing these days? <sighs> <laughs> no. I just... <laughs> they're, they're good value, um, Les, aren't they? They do they do a lot yeah. for 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 Dorset really, and it's nice that that Sandra's in the uh, as one of your patrons. It's it's a really good. It's nice to have that sort of figurehead. It's lovely. Yeah, no, it's lovely. I mean, obviously, we would have loved to have had Foxy there as well, but he's filming in um, Australia doing SAS. Who dares win in Australia? Oh, so we can't. Okay. Yeah, so he's un unable to be there. But, so yeah, so it's all good. Um, you know, so the are, are there any spaces left on the charity golf day then, Les? And and what's the cost and and what do they get? Well, it is fully booked at the moment um, okay. because we can only take sixteen teams. Okay. Um, it's a four. It's what they call a four ball um, shotgun start. So yep. teams of four people. Um, everybody starts on a different hole at the same time. The cost is two hundred and forty pound per team. Um, that's most of that actually goes to the to the golf club for the round of golf, the supper, you know, the supper in the evening. They, yeah, they uh, have prize giving and a three course meal or something, isn't it? And bacon bats yeah, in the morning and that it should be a bacon great event. Bats and, yeah, um, and we've got an auction going on and a raffle on the day, so that's where we hope to sort of make a few a few pennies for the charity. But it's keeping it out there and it's keeping it in people's minds. And, that's and so it should, Les. It's a good charity. It should. It should be a, you know, it should be a, a well-promoted charity. Um, Leslie, thank you. But listen, where can people donate, get hold of you uh, if they need any help or if they need to want to help with the charity or whatever? What's the best place for them to get hold of you? Well, if you go on to, we've got a Facebook page. Yeah. We've got a Will Does Facebook page, so you can donate on there. You can message on there. We've got an Instagram page, which you can do exactly the same thing. They're all picked up mostly by me or one of my trusty committee members. Um, we'll always try and get back to you within, you know, a few hours or whatever. Um, we've also got a website, www.willdoes.co.uk which shows you everything that we're doing, our events, um, some information about the charity, um, who our trustees are, um, basically everything that you need to know. Well, yeah. listen, Leslie, thank you for coming on. Um, good luck with the golf, good luck with the, uh, the virtual run, and good luck with all the events. And we'd love to have you back in and around Christmas time just to see how everything went. Um, Thank you, Les. Thanks ever so much for coming on, and we will see you another time. Thank you very much you indeed. Will be. Les, greatly appreciated. Thanks. Take care, my lovely. Thanks for having me. See no later. worries. Bye now. Thanks, Ian. Bye. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There you go. Let's have a look at what is going on. Wow, that's it's such a good charity, that. It's a really good charity. And um, like we say, you know, the, the mental health and well-being of uh, our young kids, our future, needs looking after, needs sorting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> where are we with everything? I am almost, almost, almost 
losing the plot. However, not enough. We've got winners. We have got... We have got winners! Yes, we have winners, ladies and gentlemen. The Swanage Cane of Cash winner is a lady. I hope it's a lady. We did have a problem with Yuri that time. A lady called Sabrina. So congratulations, Sabrina. Nico will be with you soon, giving you money. Hopefully you've got the right answer. Um, and we've got winners for the Wareham. We have two winners. I'm assuming they're a couple. We have a winner, Paula and Adam. Uh, and they should have... They should have hot-footed it, hopefully. Hopefully, if this works now, they should have hot-footed it to our strawberry blonde bombshell, who we're going to cross live to now. Let's say hello to Mark in Wera. Mark, hello, sir. How are you and what is happening? I'm still excited. I am still <laughs> excited because you're absolutely right, Ian. The winners are with me as we speak. Unbelievable. Adam, I'm Mark. so pleased They're that part worked. I was wondering if they could get to you in time. Thank goodness for that. They've managed it. They're a little bit out of breath, but fair play to them for getting here. And yeah, I think really they're as excited as I am. Well, Mark, I mean, firstly, first and foremost, what you have to do is, um, I mean, what are we doing? I mean, it's, it's going to be slightly mad, but... Uh, Mark, I'm going to hand it over to you, and I'm going to say, crack on, my son. Well, perhaps before we crack on, I, I think there was a couple of birthdays we wanted to mention, or do you want to do that after no, the excitement? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, Mark, you're absolutely right. What kind of birthdays do you have for us this week? Well, I, I think, um, at risk of uh, nepotism and keeping it in the family, I've got to mention my half-sister. <laughs> Um, it's her birthday. She's going uh, to thank tomorrow. you very much, I'm sure. You can you can see that um, there's a distinct likeness between myself and Kate. Absolutely. Um, the teeth and the 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 sense of humour, perhaps. She yes. does love a pose, as you can see. Um, Happy so many birthday happy to, to to that lovely Kate. lady. Yes. Happy yes. birthday, Kate. And I mustn't forget. Um, again, tomorrow. I know she's out celebrating this evening. But the lovely Sharon Tubbs. And I, I think you'll see that um, she doesn't look bad for 61. She um, looks well not for 61, Mark. I think her she friend does, Simon indeed. doesn't look as well, though. Well, th this before this is the perils that befall any man that falls into the clutches of Sharon, I have to say. Um, Simon is a, a shriveled wreck of um, the man he used to be. Um, and he's not the first to go that way, sadly. Um, now... I've known Sharon many years. Uh, we went to school. Uh, and when she was a teenager, she had a chance with me uh, and she blew it. Oh. Um, but this is the perks of the job. Since I've been on Swanish TV, she won't leave me alone. Oh. And, and you can see that she's, <laughs> she's still snuggle up to me. It's the perks of fame, I suppose. It, it. is the price you um, have to pay for fame, Mark. And uh, It is. You know. It, but as well funny, as wishing her happy birthday. Me, it must be just a wear <laughs> I think, I think as well as wishing her a happy birthday, I've got to remind her the restraining order is still in place. <laughs> yes, happy birthday to you, Sharon. Um, wow, OK. Great stuff, Mark. You, you're in so much no. trouble, I can see. But um, what's happening now, Mark? <laughs> this is the bit we have all been waiting for, OK? So well, please... as you can see. But can we get the answers to the questions, Mark? Well, Tigger's friend in... Winnie the Pooh is, of course, Piglet. And the premier store is in Carey. And there it is. Proof of the pudding, Carey Road store. Who have you got and there, Mark? The, you, you've got... The actually, lucky you've winners got, I have uh, here. I had the names, but it's gone. Paula and Adam March. As I say, they've got their breath back after hot-footing it down here, after getting the uh, correct answers. Um, and I think they're very, very excited. I've explained the rules. Two minutes in the store. If it's under £25, you lose the lot. If it's over 30 you lose the lot. Whoa. So, and the, the pressure is on. Uh, Chris is in there ready to serve them, and he will tally up the grand sum. 
And that's when the excitement really does matter. Okay, Mark, we'll how see. long are we giving these lovely people to fill their wares? We're giving them two minutes, and I'm going to pursue them around the shop to either assist or hinder their progress. We'll okay, see. Mark, I am. Now, um, I've got a stopwatch, and we're giving them a whole two minutes. Are there rules, Mark? Their rules are no booze, no cigarettes, because we're a healthy uh, promoting programme, and they can have one of each item, so they can't multi multi buy. Cool. One of each item, and they've got to add it up. No calculators, no phones allowed. Add it up as you go along. I am looking forward to this, Mark. I'm going to leave the floor with you, Mark. Get them set, and uh, tell me when you're ready, right. and I shall ch I shall uh, grab do your the baskets. Time. You can have one each. It's a matter for you. Ian in the studio is going to start the clock. Okay, ladies and the gentlemen. Door. Can I just say before we go, a special thank you uh, to the guys at the Premier Store in Kerry for doing this for us. Um, we're really grateful. It's good stuff. It's good community-based stuff. And uh, we are ready to go. So hold on just a moment. Hold on just a moment. The stopwatch is not working. On my <laughs> mark, three, two, one, go. Go. And off they go. Oh, they're running. They're keen. They're keen as you like. There they go. There they go. Oh, they're adding Come up on, as they go fill along. your We're trolleys. Fill your basket. We're up to 140. The inaugural basket oh, snatch. The freezer section. Freezer section. Oh, freezer section. Oh, they've gone for, they've gone for some ice cream. There you go. Oh, they could They've be a had domestic. 30 he's seconds, hurry, he's hurry Mark. Enough. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, <laughs> oh Paula could hardly resist the booze aisle, but she knows the rules. She knows the rules. That's a bad temptation, that. It is. It is indeed. It's the root of all evil. They've literally got to start oh, filling up, up to because they I, I have had to one minute, Mark. Oh. They have a minute left. One minute. They're halfway through. Halfway through. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, 24, 24, 24. Oh, there's another pound on there. So that's what, 24, 25 or 26? I can't remember now. Oh, they seem to be in control. It's a good job somebody is. Oh. And there's toilet no rolls. They're, going for the roll. they're panic buying allowed, the toilet Mark. rolls. They're panic buying the toilet rolls. Oh. oh, there's some debate as to how, what, what figure they're up to. Two-ply or three-ply. Oh, oh I can't resist the chocolate. Oh. oh, they're not sure now. They're not sure. You have 15 seconds left. Is... left. You have 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. left. Are you sure? Are you sure? No They've got no idea, Ian. They've got no idea. Ten, nine, eight. Nine. Seven, Eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. There's a pile of chocolate went in just in time. <laughs> right. Let's get Chris to tally it up. This is. <laughs> and this is where they this either where the take the goods really or they have, it give, they have to give them back. Okay. That's right. Under 25, they lose the lot. But of course, I should remind them. They do have the two salt pig vouchers. They're safe. Yes, congratulations. Safe. Congratulations, you two. Yes, that's gone straight in the pocket. Did you see how quick he put that in, Mark? He wasn't mucking about, was he? I, I tell you, it, it was out of my hands and in the pocket before you could say anything. Okay, you have a customer. Uh, there's, a, there's a customer, Mark, also waiting in the queue. <laughs> Sorry. Well, he, yes. I, are you waiting patiently, sir? I am he is indeed. There you go. Look, he... he you can see that we've got the excitement mountain here. I think he's excited as we how are much, as well. How much are we he's on? Just come... What are we up to? What are we up to? Yeah. £28.17. Well done. Whoop, well whoop, done. Whoop. Congratulations. <laughs> they are winners. They are winners. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Mark, well, that went better than I thought, actually. There was no injuries. You, and you we can't beat that for entertainment, can you? No, absolutely not. But fair play, absolutely fair play to the uh, the premier stores of Kerry there. Um, and they're, they're going to take that home. They're going to literally ring it through, put they, it in the bags, and they are away. So fantastic. We look forward so much to the next one. 
I hope it can become a regular thing. And ladies and gentlemen of Swanage and surrounding areas, this is how you can be featured uh, any week. Please join in. We don't want just Wareham to be the town that gives away stuff to the people. So people of Swanage, whatever your business is, you can take part and you can become involved. Um, so, Mark, fabulous. Thank you so much. I, I think I need to go home for a lie down now. I, <laughs> the excitement was too much. <laughs> £28. They could have got another two bars of Galaxy in there, Mark. No mucking about, but they didn't. They'll be kicking themselves. They will, whilst they're eating breakfast or dinner in the salt pig, no doubt. Listen, Mark, thank you very much, my friend. That was great. Uh, we will see you on the next show. Thanks again. Wonderful. Look forward to seeing you all next time. Fantastic. All the best. Thanks, Bye -bye Mark. Now. What about that? Our first ever basket snatch. 28 quids worth of stuff. Free. Free. Totally free. Free. Um, pe Premier Inn in... Uh, not the Premier Inn. Obviously, that's the... You know, Lenny Henry does the Premier Inn. That's the Premier Stores in Kerry uh, helping out the community there and doing something fantastic for us, um, which we are really, really pleased for. OK. Um, what do we have next? I think it's almost time to put an end to the show. However, um, let's cross live because we can't forget the best bit of the show. Let's cross live to Nico for the wonderful cane of cash. Nico, how are you doing? I'm feeling a bit deflated, Ian. I mean, next to Mark's new basket snatch, my cane of cash seems a little bit dull and boring. So no, the I'm cane of cash is brilliant, Nico. It's Ooh, free cash. There's a man with cash. Oh, quick shout out it's to... Really cold, mate. It's the cold, oh, man. It's I, I know. Cold. Well, we'll pretend it's cold. Cold merchants of uh, Studland, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's that? Who are you speaking to? This is Swanage TV. You are live oh, for okay. about 3,000 people, sir. Good evening. Yeah. We are looking for our lucky cane of cash winner, who is Sabrina. Sabrina. Sabrina's Sabrina. back. Is she round the back? Right. See? Lucky I bumped into the coal man here and they know everything. <laughs> Now we want to shout out Ian live if Sabrina's watching. Come on out, of Sabrina, your house, Sabrina. I'm sure you're watching. Please come out and um, get yourself I close to. I think you you might be going the wrong way there. Oh no no, you're going the right way. I know where you are as it goes. Oh man, <laughs> she's here. Hey. I'm coming. And Sabrina, she's all the way up there. Hey. Look. Yay! So the answer to the question, Sabrina. Who <laughs> who dedicated the Molem Theatre in Swanage? John to the Molem. Yes, Yay. she wins. Now, I have my trusty cane here yeah. and three envelopes, A, B, or C. Yeah. Which envelope do you choose? Oh, what do you oh. choose, Molly? A, B, or C? No, uh, we're saying B. B, right. B. We've gone for envelope B. Ian, this is where it always goes wrong. <laughs> and it always blows down the road. Not this time. <laughs> OK. Well, it's a bit difficult, Ian. <laughs> what have, I'm gonna have do... you had some of Sabrina's <laughs> wine? <laughs> no, I wish. I'm yeah, just going to yeah, pass so, it to yeah. Sabrina. Now, I hope you know the rules. You have to open it, show us the money, and then do the cane of cash dance. Oh, what is that? Anything you choose. It's oh, just a little wiggle to show excitement. All right, okay. How much, How much have you got? In? 20, 20, hey! 20. Hey! <laughs> the cane of cash dance. Hey, well done. Thank you for playing. Yay! Oh, fantastic. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> well done, Sabrina. Yay, perfect. Well done. There we go, Ian. This is us at Sabrina's house saying good evening. Hey, <laughs> well done, everyone. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, Sabrina. That is fantastic. Um, Nico, that's brilliant, as always, my darling. And uh, we will <laughs> see you on the next show. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, Sabrina. Well done, winner. Nico, see you next time. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen. Basket snatch, cane of cash. How much can we give away? Salt pig vouchers. Ladies and gentlemen, businesses of Swanage, don't forget to get involved. Um, thank you. What a great show. I'm going to uh, wrap the show up now. I'd like to thank uh, all my team, Mark, 
the lovely Nico, the lovely Rosemary, uh, Paula and Adam, I think, from the Wareham guys. We'd like to especially thank the Salt Pig, uh, Premier Stores in Kerry. That was fantastic. I love that. And, of course, the Sub Sabrina, the winner of our wonderful, wonderful cane of cash. Um, ladies and gentlemen, just a couple of things. If you are a business in Swanage and in the areas, and if you want to get involved with Swanage TV um, to get the free promotion, don't forget the adverts are still running free of charge until the end of October. So uh, get those in to us. Uh, other than that, thanks for joining us. We've had a great show and uh, we hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.